Uh, okay. So the first question is, is uh, do you think that this package can be included into Emacs or uh, Ampa? Uh, yeah. I think uh, it most definitely can. It's just a matter of paperwork. But uh, the reason I initially wanted to make it uh, like a standard package is that uh, so that I can experiment with it uh, more like uh, have more freedom to experiment. But uh, eventually I think it's a good candidate for inclusion into core. And because, because it's currently not in core Emacs, there are a couple of problems with it, uh, mostly in terms of performance. Uh, for example, like uh, anytime we want to access the text in a buffer, we need to make a copy of the text into a string and then right after reading from that text, we need to free it right away. And that resulted in a lot of garbage collection. So it would be better if the, either the, the tracer could be included in core Emacs or the dynamic, dynamic model support can be augmented with uh, direct text access somehow. So the second question is, uh, will a list performance be more competitive with GC Emacs? Uh, enough so that tree sitter in a list is more attractive? Uh, I think it's possible, but uh, yeah. Not sure about the amount of effort. It can be a multi years effort. And one thing that it, even though uh, GC Emacs can make uh, Elisp uh, fast enough, there's, uh, there's one thing that it uh, cannot have, which is the, because it's the Lisp, it needs the garbage collector. So we, uh, we may experiment, experience some kind of uh, GC pulse if we use Lisp, uh, whereas the currently GCSTA is written in C, so there's no such uh, latency. Uh, the next question is, do you think tree sister would be useful for org buffers? Uh, I can imagine it being used to keep a parsed AST about an org buffer, a uh, light org element, and update it in real time. Yeah, actually, this is a very interesting idea. Uh, I saw someone started uh, tree sister grammar for org already. Uh, I don't have a link right now, but I can look for it. I'll try looking for it and uh, put the link in here later. Yeah, yes, yeah, someone has written here the, uh, the the biggest problem with the uh, org right now is that it doesn't have a uh, formal grammar. So, so, so the effort would uh, be quite big, I think. But, but once we have that, because the uh, tree sitter can be run on the web as well, uh, we can uh, on the web and in many other places. If we have a grammar for a tree sitter grammar for org, we can uh, bring org mode uh, uh, like everywhere. That's a very cool thought. Uh, next one is, could this be used with packages like smart parents that aim to bring structural editing to non-S expression-based languages? Uh, yes, that, that is actually one of the intended use cases initially. It's definitely possible, but uh, it's just that no one has, no one has started writing the integration yet. Uh, next one. Uh, could you show the source that was matched by the parser in the debug view in addition to the grammar part matched? Uh, yeah, that, that's actually, um, actually on, uh, on my to-do list, but I haven't had time for it yet. So uh, 
if you go to the three sister website it also has an online playground where you can input the code and see the uh, past three in real time and it's actually uh, a lot more fancy than what we have in Emacs currently. So, yeah, I just don't have time for it yet. So, some help here would be very appreciated. Uh, the next question is, will it ever be possible to write three-seater grammars in a Lisp, or will JavaScript be required? Yeah, uh, the, it's already answered in the part. So the, uh, the, the JavaScript is actually just used as a sort of preprocessor. So the Python generator actually works on the, on the JSON uh, structure. So uh, it's definitely possible to replace JavaScript with uh, Lisp for this. How extensive will the compatibility between highlighting grammars for Emacs and those for Vim, NeoVim? Mm. So, uh, so right now the uh, NeoVim and uh, Emacs use the different set of uh, highlighting queries, and uh, Atom probably uses another set of uh, patterns as well. Uh, I think it makes sense because uh, each editor has its own like existing conventions for syntax highlighting. So at least uh, in the beginning, uh, I don't expect uh, there is any compatibility between different editors. But I think uh, in the long run, it will be, be better if there's some kind of uh, effort to uh, unify, the, at least provide the most common patterns that should work across editors. Uh, next one is, could there be a standardized approach to coding automatic refactoring in the future? So, so that whichever language mode you're using, you could see many available refactoring operations. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure about this because the, like, uh, most of uh, refactoring operations are actually very like highly specific to a language or at least to a class of class of languages so so so, so maybe it's not like uh, one single approach for all the languages but maybe uh, one for object oriented languages one for lisp like language for example and maybe one for JavaScript and TypeScript. So, uh, next question is, uh, I'm completely new to TreeSitter. How do I use it as an end user? Is there any easy example config out there, right? the organizer or otherwise, that shows standard usage with whatever programming language? Um, yeah, there, there, there's no uh, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, actually the, the tree the sort of project has the documentation site, but it's not very extensive yet. Uh, I think we need to kind of add, add more examples to the documentation. Uh, can language major mode authors start taking advantage of this now? Or is it intended to be used as a minor mode? Uh, actually, it's both. 
So it's intended to be used as a minor mode, but it's also intended to be depended on by the major mode. So basically, it it wants to be a minor mode that is depended on by the other major modes. And by, by it here, I mean the the base uh, minor mode, three system mode. So, uh, question 11, is it possible to use this for refactoring too? Uh, yeah, but um, like for the kind of refactoring inside a uh, buffer, it, it's, uh, it, it's very doable right now, so you, but you need to write some glue code, but uh, for for the kind of more extensive refactoring where you want to touch uh, like uh, all files in a project, um, there, there, needs, there needs to be some kind of the project and not, not like project and uh, like understanding of the language uh, model system, like how they are laid out in the file system as well. And with that understanding that there should be passing of the files even files on the file system that are not yet loaded into Emacs. So that sounds like something more, a lot more, a lot more, more extensive. To, and it probably, it probably sounds like something, something like an ID in, uh, inside Emacs already, like a replacement for, for LSP. So next question is the, that pop-up MX window. How do you get that? Uh, it's the custom Helm code I wrote a long time ago. But uh, but right now, the best way to, to have something like that is probably the, what is written here, like uh, Helm post frame or IV post frame. Uh, it's a lot easier now. Uh, is there a folding mode for tree sitter? Uh, no, there's there's no folding mode for tree sitter yet. But uh, uh, but I think it would better would be better if it's integrated with uh, the like current currently in Emacs there are multiple. Not sure they are multiple, but there there are like a code folding frameworks inside Emacs already or some of the code folding packages, like third party package. And I think it's better to integrate with these modes uh, rather than writing something new entirely. Uh, are there any language uh, major modes that have integrated already? Uh, uh, not yet. So the, there was a proposed uh, web assembly mode, but it's a new major mode. In terms of uh, existing major mode, there is the TypeScript mode. Uh, but but they're, they're only discussing about integration. Uh, they are not integrated yet. Uh, I think I can try writing the integration sometimes next month. Uh, basically, what they want right now is the syntax highlighting and uh, handling uh, syntax highlighting and uh, code indentation for TSX, which is the uh, embedded uh, React uh, syntax inside uh, TypeScript. So uh, it, it turns out parsing uh, these tags uh, is very troublesome, so so traces that would be uh, traces that would be a lot of help there. Uh, is there any link to the slides? Uh, yes, I'll post it in IRC later. 
regarding Emacs integration, will it always need to be a foreign library, or can it be included linked directly in compilation? Uh, if if this is about the core library itself, then uh, I think it's the uh, answer it in the first question. Uh, right now is a right now is a dynamic model, but in the long run, it will be better if it's included in core Emacs for the language definitions themselves. Uh, it should be better if they are distributed uh, separately like that right now. So each, uh, for each language, there will be a shared a library that will be loaded by the core library at runtime. Uh, so the last question is the Python mode example is pretty good. Is that something that one can use already? Uh, yes, I'm using it at work right now. Uh, I think that's all for that's all the questions, right? You are now unmuted. Yeah, I think that's all the questions on the pad so far. Um, so thank you, but um, there may be more questions coming on IRC. Um, I'll try to have a look. Um, and we still have about. 10 or 15 more minutes, so um, there's no rush to wrap up in case um, anyone has any more questions. Uh, yeah, I just realized that uh, uh, I mixed up the video editing and I uh, lost an entire session on the introduction to Trisita. Oh, <laughs> no worries. You are now muted. Sounds like a perfect opportunity for you to redo the introduction if you'd like to. Uh, actually, I uh, forgot a lot of that. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, and I'm a bit uh, tired now, so I'm not, I don't think I can do it. It's uh, 30 minutes until my bedtime. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I, I hear you. Okay, you are so, now uh, unmuted. So, in that case, maybe we should. Um, we should let Tona get started going to bed, and um, and I mean, and I will figure out what to do at a time. Should we start the next talk early since it's pre-recorded? Um, yeah, we okay, can do we can do that. Um, but um, yeah, tonight, it, you know, right now it's pretty late there. Um, no worries, but yeah, if you know, over the next few days or weeks, if you would like to, um, you know do a quick pre-recording or recording to add the introduction and then stitch it in with what you had already sent me um by all means please do that and i will upload the edited version uh yeah yeah i'll try to do that thank you yep thank you so much bye <laughs>